In a previous video, I showed how to replace the foam filter on the Dyson V6 with a HEPA filter, but at the time there weren't full kits available for this. Now there's a full kit available which you can use to easily replace your foam filter with a HEPA filter. So I'll be using this full kit here for upgrading the vacuum. It's available on Amazon, so check the link down in the description. It comes with, most importantly, the back piece that replaces the foam filter back piece. This is the piece that allows you to attach the HEPA filter on. The HEPA filter, which this is a third party HEPA filter, not the official Dyson HEPA filter. So I would trust the Dyson HEPA filter a little bit more in terms of filtration quality, but this has definitely got to be better than the foam filter. And so that HEPA filter is going to lock on the back of the new motor housing cover. It comes with a PCB air deflector cover, which in the last video we didn't have this option available. And what this does primarily is that it routes the airflow around the PCB and also prevents dust from building up on the PCB, therefore possibly overheating it. They included this tool here, which this is probably a good generic tool for opening covers. It's kind of like having a flathead screwdriver, but they provided this so you can use it to pry in there to open up the covers. They included an extra pre-filter, which is nice. This replaces the filter up here. This filter is washable, so it generally lasts a pretty long time as long as you wash it. And they included this tool here, which helps you remove the cyclone head. It's something I never had an issue doing by hand, but this tool just makes it easier. But we're not going to need this tool for the HEPA filter conversion. This is just if you want to remove the cyclone head to wash out the cyclone. So the first thing for removing the old foam filter motor cover is there's a screw in here that's got a Phillips head, like a number one or number zero Phillips. I generally keep the screw out anyways because I use this quick release battery clip on mine so I can quickly swap out the battery. If you're interested in that quick release battery clip and the charging dock for a spare battery, check out some of my other Dyson Hacks videos. Okay, once that screw is removed, then we can use the rounded end of this tool to carefully pry in here. Make sure you don't have hands in the way in case anything slips. So get under there and then pry up like this. And it should come right off. This is the old foam filter. I've already cleaned this previously. It used to be filthy. So you need to bend these wires back a little bit carefully. Take the deflector and line up this cutout with this port over here and then carefully snap the deflector onto the back such that all these snaps reach around the PCB. This is how it should look snapped on there. Now take the new HEPA motor cover and snap it over the back. If you're not using the quick release battery clip and you want your battery to stay in properly, then you have to put the screw back in. And then you can attach the HEPA filter on the back. And there we go, that's the conversion process from the old foam filter style filter to the HEPA filter cartridge. You will be able to use Dyson brand HEPA filters on here also. And the max button still works. This is a genuine Dyson HEPA filter. This is the third party one. The Dyson one snaps on there fine. It's a bit loose which indicates to me that it may not be sealing well. Interestingly enough, even though the filter is loose on there, I don't feel anything coming around the seal area. And I think that's because this gasket is kind of self expanding so that when there's pressure in here, the gasket expands and touches off on this. So it's self sealing. Something that this kit is missing though is a gasket to seal off the lower part of the handle because I noticed that when I run it, especially if I just block off the motor like this, 
then air is coming out of the trigger area, air is coming out around the handle, air is coming out down here at the charging port. So it needs something to seal it better in there. The quality of this plastic is definitely not the same as the original Dyson. I've removed this rear motor housing several times and the plastic has not broken. This one, I just, you can see it turning, starting to turn white right here and the snap broke when I tried to remove it for the first time. So it's something you want to put on and leave on. So the Dyson V6 that comes with the HEPA filter already installed has a rubber seal around here that prevents air from flowing down to the handle. There's a rubber seal here, rubber gasket that seals off against the back motor cover that is different that the non-HEPA filter doesn't have. I have not seen this rubber seal anywhere available online and none of the kits come with it. So a solution to sealing this area off is to use some hot glue. So we really want to get some hot glue into and around those wires in here. Sealing off this area. I'm gonna make sure that the hot glue doesn't interfere with anything. I'm gonna wait for this part of it to cool down a little bit before I add the final part, which I want to be able to touch off on the rear motor housing. Okay, I'm gonna add some more on here. This is what's gonna to touch on the rear motor cover and seal off this area. Snap on. Rear motor cover. Okay, and leave it upside down a little bit. I can look down into the handle and see that it's sealing off down there. With that hot glue modification, now there's no longer any air leaking out of this area or this or around the trigger. In fact, if I put my hand on the back and pull the trigger before, it wouldn't shut down. It would just keep, I guess, leaking air. And now it shuts down. Watch. It's running. It starts pulsing now because there's no air leaks, and that's a good thing. It's not going to pulse when the filter is on there unless the filter is clogged. And that's it for the HEPA filter mod using this new upgrade kit. I like this tool that it came with. This tool is going to come in handy for other uses too. It kind of sucks that it did not come with a handle seal and that I needed to use hot glue to seal off this area such that air would not flow out the trigger and the ports and stuff down here. On the Dyson V6 vacuum cleaner, the canister is removed by pushing down twice on this red slide here. Once opens the bottom of the bin and then another time releases the canister like this. So you can pull it off and pull it forward. It rotates around this tab up here. Now if you want to remove the cyclone assembly, I used to have to take like a screwdriver and go into here and push on both sides, push on the other side and do that, kind of pry that up like that. So you can do it like that by hand. And pull off the whole cyclone assembly such that you can remove this filter and rinse it out and clean it out well. And to put it back together, just snap this in place. And then put the canister, and then put the canister back on. Make sure the front latches in first up here. This has to hook in first, like that. And then you can push the back up, like that. And then you can close the bottom of the bin. Now this HEPA filter conversion kit, it came with this convenient tool, that you're supposed to be able to take and slide up in here just like that. So the tool stays in place. It helps unlock those two latches. Then you can focus on just pulling the head off. Here you can see how the tool comes in and grabs onto the latches and then locks in place.